So here is box number one. And it's got all this foamy stuff injected in here with boxes of stilts and shelves. And then I'm opening this box. Here is the kiln. Comes in a huge box like that. There's the little digital controller. Okay, it's fully assembled. And this is Joe. <laughs> he, he is wiring for 240. So he's having fun. Yes, I am. Say hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. <laughs> so this this is that injection stuff, and you just have to dig through till we reach the plastic bag that everything is closed in. I'm looking for the stand. It would be nice if the box had been marked. This one had the stand in it. So here, here is the digital box that goes on the kiln. I took it off so that we could unstack it and stack it back up. It just lifts off. It's very easy to remove. And so it should be just as easy to put back on. Here are the wires where it's been it's been removed. And so these wires are all in order. And this is gonna be this is gonna be very easy to reassemble. And as soon as the boys get here, we will be um, moving it. We're going to take the lid and set it over there on that orange thing. Then we're going to take the first section of the kiln and put it on one of those rubber mats right there. And then we'll take the next section and put it on the other rubber mat. And then we'll put the floor the floor of the kiln will go onto this rolling stand that's made out of wrought iron. <clears throat> okay, folks, well, there it is, sitting on the rolling stand. That's what this looks like. And so there's just a little panel here where if you're gonna take it all apart, you just uh, disconnect those little wire things by sliding it off, sliding this little thing off. And so, here I'll put, put one back on. This, and, and you have to just remember, uh, they're ordered. And it's, here it is, and I'm, I've got it started, and I'm gonna tighten up the one next to it. And so, that one's now on. I have put, kiln wash on the shelves. Here, I don't I don't have it plugged in yet. That black cord is a, going to my truck, but the uh, this big gray cord right here is gonna go in that wall plug down there. And this is what I was talking about, having to stagger the shelves. I've just had to come up an extra two inches on this one in order to clear the thermocoupler. So I've got 03, 04, and 05, and that'll be my top layer. And let's see how. So now I think it's actually ready. I, I redid it from last night because in the pictures that I was given, 
this side is over here by the thermocouple and all of the openings go this way on top of each other. I'm not sure how important that is, but since it was that way in the pictures, I'm going to do it that way uh, for this test. I have never had a brand new kiln before. I always got hand-me-downs at school and they were pretty beat up by the time I ever saw them. No instructions uh, and um, you know just kind of fly by the seat of your pants kind of thing and we did really <laughs> extremely well considering all the instructions that I've gotten with this one and I never had that before on another one uh, on any other one. So uh, I think we're going to, I think we should be very successful since I'm following all the directions exactly to the letter. Okay, so here we're going to put this baby to bed. The wind is picking up and, and I don't want uh, any debris to be flying into here.